Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can grow lamb's ear from seed. We have a foolproof method that you can follow to go from this, a bunch of seed full of potential, to this, young seedlings that you can sell in your nursery or cultivate in your garden. As per usual, you can find your copy of our ebook in the description below. Let's get started. Seed propagation is the most economical way you can grow a large number of lamb's ear. Seed is commonly available from many reputable suppliers and by sourcing your seed from such companies you'll be guaranteed with the best quality seed, free from pathogens and other material like weed seed. You can also harvest your seed from your own plants as well. Before you sow your seed, fill your trays with a pre-moist and fine seedling mix. You can also mix your own medium. We have had great success with our tried and tested recipe and you can find our video in the link above. Gently pat down your medium as this will ensure there are no deep gaps that your seed can fall between which will impede germination. Next, take your lamb's ear seed and gently sprinkle them over the trays. Try not to over sow your seed, 2-3 to three seeds per cell are enough for cells of this size. If you would like some tips on how to sow small seed like this evenly then you can check out the video linked above. This video will be of particular use to those of you who use trays that do not have cells. If you find that you have over sown your seed by the time the seedlings germinate then you can just thin out the young plants later. Gently press your seeds slightly deeper into the grain medium so they are secure in their cells and covered with a very thin layer of the germination mix. As these seeds are very small, you do not want to cover them with too thick a layer as this will not only exclude any light from the seeds, which is required for germination, but the young seedling will not be able to push itself through a very thick, compact top layer. Even though your medium is pre-moistened, you can spray the trays with water. Make sure you use a fine nozzle as any heavy droplets can scatter the newly sown seed. Pop the species name and planting date on a plant tag and your seed are now perfectly primed to germinate. Keep the trays in a warm, sunny position and do not let them dry out. We kept these seed in a propagation house with timed misting, but if you do not have such facilities then you can sprinkle a thin layer of fine, damp vermiculite over the tops of the trays. After about two weeks the seed should start to germinate, although the timing will depend greatly on temperature. These seedlings here are about three weeks old. You can see these seed were covered with vermiculite, which meant the trays could be kept outside in a sunny spot with a good soaking every morning. This just goes to show you do not need fancy equipment to grow high quality seedlings. If we take a closer look at these seedlings, you can see a clear difference in leaf morphology. The first leaves that grow do not resemble the characteristically fuzzy lamb's ear, but the first true leaves that grow next start to get their fine hairs. After about one month, these seedlings had two sets of true leaves, and if you used small cell trays like we did, you can start transplanting them into larger containers. To do this, use a pair of tweezers to gently loosen the root system and squeeze the soil around the root zone. If the roots do not bind the soil like these ones did, then wait a few more weeks until transplanting. Pop your young seedlings into a fine, well-draining medium. Lamsey is very sensitive to waterlogging, so you need to make sure the grain mixture you use drains well. Perlite and sand can be added to a heavy mix to improve its drainage. At this stage you can also start to think about regularly fertilizing your seedlings. We used a liquid concentrate for vegetative growth, but if you are fertilizing on a large scale, think about incorporating a slow release fertilizer into the planting mix. It is not very useful to fertilize the seedlings before they have at least two true leaves, because they store the nutrients they need to grow in their cotyledons, which is a technical term for the first set of leaves that the seedlings grow, the ones that often look nothing like the mature leaves. Fertilizing after two sets of true leaves have developed will supplement the plant with the nutrients required for the seedlings to establish themselves, especially nitrogen, which is necessary for vegetative growth. We fertilize the seedlings like this once a week. And this is what two-month-old seedlings look like. They are starting to crowd the new trays and can be planted into bigger 5-litre pots for you to sell. If you are planting them in your garden, now would be the perfect time. After about 4 months, this is what you can expect the lamb's ear to look like. You can see just how velvety the leaves have grown. Grow your lamb's ear in a sunny, semi-shady spot in well-drained soil. 
Lambs ear can also be divided when they grow too big, and you can prevent seed dispersal by cutting back any flowers as they start to grow. And that brings us to the end of this video on growing lambs ear from seed. Before you go, remember your copy of our ebook, and we will see you in the next video.